One night it's oldies but goodies night. Then one night it's R&B. Then it's jazz. Then, it's a, then we all have our opinions of who's doing what. I wish someone would put a hidden camera and our fans could see what really goes on in that dressing room. They would love it. They wish they were there. Eric, what were you doing? Well, you know, Gene, it's funny that you should ask. I was uh, feeding my parrot, Brenda. Hang on, let me get the door. Rock and roll room services here. <laughs> Ace Freely knows how and why. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, this is the way it's done. One, two, three. Uh, take 156. <laughs> Action! Hello, Australia. This is Gene Simmons of Kiss, and I'd like to introduce you to... Paul Stanley of Kiss, who's going to introduce you to Ace Frehley of Kiss, who's going to introduce you to... Ace Frehley of Kiss, who is... <laughs> But when I really think about it, you could compare it to like, you know, women in a beauty salon sitting under a hair dryer, you know. And cue. No, come here, come here. Action! Go, go, go. Turn around. Look, it's rock and roll. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Hey, watch this. Go! Beautiful. I just happen to have. All right. So uh, Gene, Ace, Peter, Paul, and and we're uh, putting the show on the road <laughs> now for the first time in 17 years. You guys, you guys seem genuinely excited about this. Yeah. We are. Absolutely. We are. Yeah. Thank God today I can say I, I think I'm a pretty good role model. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to stand up like this, it's another thing to go like that. I mean, when you can go like that with these heels, you know you've graduated. Original photo of the band before we wore makeup, and a lot of people don't realize that originally Lily Tomlin was our guitar player. See, I never knew No, that. I thought it was uh, Shirley MacLaine. Down. Oh, how does he do that? But did you ever play in little bands, like little local bands without oh, I makeup? I play in pubs. Sure, I play pubs. $20 a night. Oh, you got to. Yeah, you know, but that was all in growing up. Did you ever yearn for the days when you just stood there naked in, in an old pair of jeans and played light, easy music? Sure. I still do it sometimes. Because no one knows what I look like with my makeup off, so I sneak home, call off some old friends, and we go into a pub and play. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> How do you want your ideal audience to feel when you're finished with them? Exhausted. Gene, what, what are you? I'm really just a member of KISS. You know? Who dreamed this up, this, this get-up? We all did. How many members? There group? are four members. You know, your audience really looks appetizing. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you a bat? Yes. <laughs> Actually, what I am is evil incarnate. And some of those cheeks and necks look really good. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Why the costume? Why the costume? For... <laughs> oh he, I can tell he's your type, Tony. I can just tell. What do you do after that? I mean, work. What you, can you? <clears throat> you rest. <laughs> just take a bite. You don't even have to chew. What'd you do to it? Look at him, he's got that look, it's so obvious. He's worked hard on that fucking french fry. Where is it? You think this was easy? Oh! You kind of take it as it comes, so to speak. Uh-huh. So to speak. <laughs> now, Ace seems to be the most laid back of the of the four, and he's the one who'll probably be the hardest to make talk. <laughs> well, this is not Ace. This is George. This is George. <laughs> Ace is back in his ass. And we're still trying to figure out who it is that we are, what it is that we're trying to put across. And, I thought, and Ace, I thought he liked me. Ace, He's ultimately, Ace, yeah, look at him. <laughs> Come on. Ace, Ace ultimately would look into the mylar and start laughing at himself. 
I was just uh, talking with the uh, the uh, gentleman in Kiss, uh, George and Peter and Paul and Ace about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> George, George, is not George manager. I want to ask. Oh, George! You know, oh, you're Ace. George is not here. Right, How about here, James? I'm well, look at this. I'm nervous. We're finally on without thinking. <laughs> No, I'm from the Bronx. Yes, I do. It's a long foot. Oh, is it? Well, who decided, for instance, on the single Shandy to be the first single off the Unmasked album? She did. Uh, Kingsbridge Road. King? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not no, 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 I wasn't. He was at the church around the corner, right? Maybe the first couple of months that we were on tour, invariably, once a night, you would hear a thud on stage and you would look and eggs would be sprawled <laughs> out. out. And Wind being levels. troopers, we would run over and play over. These guys were incredible. If I would fall on stage, yeah. these guys would run over to me and make believe like it was part of the show. They'd stand over me and we'd do like this. <laughs> As you know, I'm looking dodging. up and they're looking down. We'd put the guitars together and bounce them People up would and love turn it. around. There goes the lead guitar. Well, that's part of the show. Okay, who's going to do it? Go ahead, you do it. What song are you talking about? I was made for love. I was made for love. Really? It's, he was. I used to play basketball over there. Do you were Clinton High School? That's where I went. He went to that high school. I don't believe it. You he was tired. wearing, he was wearing an orange sneaker and a red sneaker. And uh, soon after he walked in, he walked into the wall, and then we knew he was the right guy. Look at this. He's doing a whole number here. Right? All right, steal this show. Go ahead. Gene. <laughs> Let's have a hand for him. Uh, hey! hey! Tell us really? the line that you were going to come up. <laughs> the, what, the one what did we I rehearse? What did I rehearse? Paul Stanley's doorbell. A doorbell. Here he comes. Paul, how are you? Oh my God, it's lifestyles. You've had a long creative relationship with Gene Simmons. When did it start? He's up. Let's go talk to him. I want to get this. Thanks. My God. Look at this over here. Look at this. This is Gene Simmons' bedroom? Well, this is his bedroom. I mean, it's not the whole thing, but it's... He calls this the sleeping quarter. This is amazing. You, you got that over here? Hey, hey, hey. He went still on a computer on his aces, his aces into computers, and he put our faces on all our different bodies, and they look weird. Right? Actually, he, right. look, he looks pretty good on my body. <laughs> And so, um, I've been on his body is too. that the reason why when you were united again, you just said, we just Europe at the moment, where they say heavy metal. You're going to be playing at the Hammersmith Odeon on Saturday night, aren't you? We are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are. Otherwise, me and about... I'm going to dinner, I don't know about you. I was going to go buy some Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> or some... Or some... <laughs> the incredibly easy question was this. Can you tell us... Can you tell us which albums the I'm four... I'm being attacked by this plant. Hi, I'm Paul Stanley. Now, I'm the guest VJ here today. This is the week before Christmas, and I'm in the Christmas spirit a little bit early. I've got Sharon, I've got Lydia, Santa's helpers are here. What could be better than that? I'd be all alone without them. A little... Hmm. You didn't see that. My uncle is a raft, and he always what? keeps me floating. <laughs> a raft and he always keeps me floating <laughs> does that sound better in hebrew <laughs> <laughs> yes it does another video lick it up seems to give us a glimpse of a post-nuclear world um is this some of your politics creeping into so where did you find ace from for goodness sake <laughs> i don't know does anybody know where we found ace ace where are you from I'm from a different planet Jesus <laughs> we Christ. all know that we come back we, just, we just like to joke around because, you know, we play rock and roll. <laughs> now, Jane, what is your makeup? What He's a ballerina. <laughs> Everybody's got to be serious. Come on. <laughs> How can we be serious? Are you serious? Everybody's got a uh, the star over the eye. Okay. Does that mean anything? Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I like stars. Have you ever seen the Kiss show? Yes, I have. My guitar flies, I explode. It's just like rock. Yeah, but what do you do? Your guitar flies out of your hands, and what do you do? Well, you know, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Ace has got some opinions about that. Ace? No, I, just Ace. I just claim my job. Uh, different from the Dynasty album. Was that personally done? Well, in my mind. Ace, can you no, put I, yourself together? I, I, have a, I had a cold. Yes, like, man? No, I had a cold. Right, okay. Can we have a 
So actually, we're really four happy-go-lucky guys. In makeup. <laughs> Eric, do you think you're ready makeup. for all of this? This is part of a, a, a kind of a V-shape. This is my utility belt, and we don't want to go any below than my uh, waist area because that's reserved for concert players. Yeah. I, I that's understand good. that. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody in Australia when we get over there. When, Eric? When are we going? In November. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You are in November. But you're kind of like a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> Uh, well, well, I can't. Well, what do you think about the dentist between on walls? <laughs> well, listen, I got a little piece of pipe backstage I'd like to have you work on. Tell me about it. <laughs> I don't believe it. And um, check this out. Bruce Kulik's water. Wow. Eric's the one that's uh, got something to tell you. No, we were just talking about your water, though. I love my Evian. This is, uh, hang on. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I had to come here because of the money I lost the other day on the plane. Who invented that tongue business? I think, well, the doctor. When I was born, he pulled me out by the wrong appendix. <laughs> we love kids. Maybe that's because the last U.S. Census proved that 44% of all children conceived between 1972 and 1984 were conceived at a KISS concert. By Gene. Paul Stanley, how we are you? We haven't seen each other in, uh, what, a week? A week or so. You've <laughs> changed so. a lot. I have, yes. How, Thank you very how much. old are you today? Do 47. You? 47. No, you're not. 47. And Girls, he's not 47, is he? Is he no. 47? There he is. How do I look? You are a vision. But he was an incredible guy. Frankie, I love you. I'll see you uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> look at you. You look like a little kitty. You're a kid. Oh, it feels great. If that's what we're back on the top, I think we've always been on the top. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever been on the bottom. <laughs> Not that that's <laughs> a bad thing. Well, it depends on the night and who you're with when you're on the top or the bottom. Well, I've been on the side. We're on patrol 24-7. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a code red. Over there. Over there. Never fear. Kiss is here. I'm sorry your parents ruined your birthday. Mm flip. But Kiss is going to make it all better. Have you ever bought any Kiss albums? No, I haven't. Right, no. I... <laughs> you told us we were the best band well, you ever I never needed anybody's help in any way. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk. When the rain, rain comes, <laughs> you might as well be dead. When the rain comes. Hi. Pooh Bear? What'd you call me? Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. <laughs> you're, you're live on the air, Poodle. Oh, I am? But I always call you Pooh Bear.